Blue light of death. Okay, cool. So let's confirm that, shall we? This has been dropped. This drive's making a funny noise. It's been dropped. Don't know if that's coming through on audio, but I can hear the disk drive making a noise when I first turn it on. It's a 1200 series PS5. Seen a few more of these coming lately. Let's connect up to UART, shall we? I don't care what the solder joints look like. This is just a temporary connection. I will put a tad of flux on this though. We want to make sure we get a good connection on the data lines. We also need to make sure that these don't bridge across anything else. Cool. Actually, let's. Uh, we're gonna have to clean it all up anyway, so I might as well solder this joint properly. Make sure it's got a nice contact on it. Yeah, that's a bit better. Solder up the terminal port. Port nineteen. Uh, 80801 double one double oh. <laughs> DDR6 chip number five is damaged. Cool, right, lovely. We have another faulty RAM chip. <laughs> uh, okay, well, what I am going to do is just read the rest of them. Okay, so apart from that code, which I don't know if I've got that one in here. Uh, unexpected power outage. All right, yeah, that's fine. Um, so that's just saying that it's been shut down unexpectedly. Um, but that's whatever. So I'm going to clear it, clear the error codes, and then I'm going to power it on again. All right, so now I'm going to read... That again, yeah, double one double uh double one ten, okay. So yeah, so that tells me that RAM chip number five is damaged. Alright, RAM chip number five it is. RAM number five, come on down. Alright, so desolder that. It is now no longer needed. I'll clean that flux up in a minute. Now I'll get to actually tearing it down and sorting it out. A few screws later. Right, so RAM chip number five is going to be that one there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that one there is the bad one, according to UART anyway. Yeah, so this chip here is apparently bad. Uh, it's a Samsung. Let me just make sure I've got the right one. Wait, I haven't got one pre-board. All right, whatever. Never mind. Well, that sucks ass, doesn't it? Okay, that was a decent lift. Doesn't appear to be any oxidised pads. Have some low melt solder. Not that I need to do that, it's just that this is uh, this tub's expired, so 
this tub of solder paste has expired, so I'm uh, just using it to waste it. Literally just using it to waste it. You don't need to use low melt solder for that. Certainly makes it a lot safer though. Is that potentially a damaged pad? Or is it just solder? I think it might just be solder actually. Why is this a celebration? It just shows the streamer that you're a regular viewer or a returning viewer. It's not, I wouldn't call it a celebration, but yeah. MG Chemicals Wick way better than Goot Wick. Hell no, dude. Not for the price of it. I've used MG chemicals. That is a damage pad, isn't it? Well, it was. That is a damage pad. What the fuck? Could that be the cause of this? Right. Consider yourself fixed, Mr. Pad. I'm still going to replace the RAM. I'm not going to re it. It's kind of pointless. Consider yourself fixed, Mr. Pad. It was slightly, slightly, um, slightly damaged. Nothing major. I just managed to restore it, though. There we go. Cool. Good. Right, let's pick a random RAM chip off here. This is actually uh, EDM033 board as well. Good news is I know the uh, origins of this board. This board was banned. So I know that this RAM works. Still ended up with oxidised pads. Shouldn't be an issue, but it's just annoying. The funny thing is it looks like the pads are missing, but they're not. They're just oxidised. And just like magic, the pads come back, look. Do you believe in magic? Right. There we go, that's nice and clean. Right, 0.45 mil. Right. That'll do. You can use 0.5mm solder balls on this, by the way. Cool. We're good. Yeah, that's good enough. Right, bottom left. There, just like that.
Right, we are. Airflow 10%, 440. I wasn't actually pressing on that, I was just tapping it to make sure it doesn't slide. A random solar board on the side of the chip. That was nice. Cool. Soldered. Good shit. He's good. Boom. She's turning on. But the thing is, we had this yesterday as well, and then as soon as the ball cooled down, it wouldn't turn on again. So, after. Well, first of all, make sure it gets to a white light, and then after that, yep, it does get to a white light, good. So now, I need to just make sure it displays, I can do that with the uh, HDMI tester. Make sure it's got a display, and then strip it all down, clean it out, and once I've put it back together, test it again and make sure it actually stays on, so... Yeah, I have to double check and make sure. Beep, beep, beep. There's a triple beep of success right there. Oh, well, what's perceived as success. And we get a display. Cool. So I'll take it all back apart, clean it out, and then test it again. Ram chip number five. Do, 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 do. Yeah, buddy. It's FIFA on there. Let's find out. Of course it's on there. In FIFA! Well, I'll have to give this a test tomorrow because I don't understand Arabic. <laughs> so I will give it a test tomorrow. It's working. But yeah, I'll give that a test tomorrow. It's working, at least. That's the main thing. Another job done. Another console fixed. Yeah, faulty RAM chip, eh? Forte RAM chip, very nice. Gotta love it. Brilliant job, Sony. Well done on using inferior parts.